Hey guys, I am back with a video. I know it's been quite a while since I've done a video. Um, last week I went um, with my mom to a book event uh, last week and uh, we went to um, a book event that was held in Savannah, Georgia. The uh, name of the event was called Offers After Dark and uh, we left on Friday. I know I, we were supposed to leave on Thursday but there were some last minute things <laughs> that were going on before we had to leave, so we decided to leave on Friday. So, um, uh, when we arrived there, we, um, did stumble upon an author, actually, while we were there. Um, when we arrived, and it was no other than J.A. Sounders, who is the author of, uh, Renegade, and she actually gave me a arc of her second book, which is Revelations. I love the first one. I actually read it last month during the readathon, so I'm looking forward to reading this one. Hopefully, um, not this coming week because this coming week is actually when uh, Deception comes out, and I want to be able to spend some time reading that. So, uh, before reading this one, so I'm excited to get around reading this one. I want to see what happens with Evie and Given, and see if they get what happens because that ending that first book. Mm. Excited about that. And then after that, um, me and my mom went and had lunch um, after we uh, met her. And, oh, I forgot to show you. I did get it signed, by the way. So, that's what it looks like. Um, and then, anyways, we, after that, after we uh, met her and um, talked to her for a little bit, me and my mom went to, um, went to have lunch. And which was so good, mm, really good. We actually ate at the hotel that was where the um, book event was held, so, and it was upstairs, so. <laughs> and after we ate lunch, we went back downstairs, and then um, we resured, um in, and uh, which took a little while because um, there was a little mix-up, um, couldn't find my name and everything, so. After that was cleared up and everything, uh, me, um, I did actually get my badge that I wore for the book event, and um, because I was over 21, I got a special badge, which looks like this, it has the name of the event, the year, and then over here has my name, and then all the information and stuff below it. But this thing right here, this little flap, opens up, but makes really loud noise, um, so I don't want to open it up on the video, but it does open up, and inside it is where I kept all my um, business cards that I made, and then on the back is a little pouch that I kept my camera, and then inside it is a couple of um, little uh, pen holders, but instead I put my chapstick in it, but yeah, this is what I used, and I'm so excited receiving one of those because I think it's one of the coolest uh, swag, um, swag, coolest keepsake that I could have gotten at the book event. Um, so anyways, I did pick up some swag that was um, on the table there at the register table. I got a keychain that says beware. I got um, a bookmark from Nia Berry, which is for their book which comes out in December next year, so I'm excited about that. I had to check out that series. Um, then I got a postcard for Malcolm by Isla Gallen. So that's what I got um, on that table. And also one of the staff members that was there uh, helping me and my mom out um, by Regerin and as well as mentioning a, uh, a teen um, chocolate party that was going to be going on in about an hour, so, uh, they gave me a Splinter Press, yeah, Splinter Hill Press bag that had a book inside, and the book that was in it was a copy of Pods, and I'm so looking forward to reading this one because it, um, is by Michelle Pickaway, by the way. Uh, this one's actually for fans of Risen Evil, which I love the movies. Haven't played the games yet, but I'm I'm gonna get on to that. I will. But anyways, uh, this is um, about a girl who is in a society um, that has a virus going on, and somehow the people that uh, pick up the virus turns into these like mutant type 
creatures, so definitely sounds like Resident Evil, so yeah, I'm excited to check this out soon. So that's what I got from there, and then afterwards, I decided to go back t um, in the hallway that was next to the resident table. They had like hallway with tables with um, swag and stuff, and books and stuff there. So I went there where my mom went and found an area to sit down um, while waiting for the teen um, chocolate party. So I went in there and picked up tons of swag. I'm going through this really quickly. So I got um, a couple of magnets. I got some postcards. One of them has a recipe for brownies. And then I got some sticky notes and a compact mirror. I got um, this little thing that says embrace your inner bad girl and a magnet. Um, I got this little thing which you can put like um, keep your anything, your drink like cold or hot or warmer thing. And then I got this little pouch thing that had um, a hand sanitizer and a $5 gift card. Then I picked up a bunch of pens from different booths. Then I got, someone gave me this little doohickey. I have no idea what it is, but I went ahead and put it in my bag anyway. So yeah, I got that. And one of these dust cleaner little cloth things, which has a book um, cover on, which is Breath of Fire by Lily Harrett. And then a really cool uh, magnet, which looks like that, if you guys can see it. And then one of these ladies was handing out um, this bag, um, like this little gift bag that had a shot um, glass in, which says, less than three press, the way to go. Such a cool swag, I have to say, that's what's um, really cool. And then a pen, um, a business card, some stick, couple of stickers, and a couple of bookmarks. And then, let's see, and the last thing, is I went to um, the Riptile Publishing booth, and I picked up a notepad, um, a Read the Rainbow um, pen, and then a um, magnet, which has the Rotten Moon um, cover on it, and I want to check that um, that book out, as well as the other books in the series. The fourth one just came out um, recently this month, so yeah. And then they also gave me a bag which says, Love is for Everyone, Read the Rainbow at Riptile Publishing. So that's all the swag that I picked up, and then afterwards, going back to, um, then um, going to where my mom was sitting at. Uh, this woman was, this young woman was giving out some cookies as well as, um, that had pins on them, so I already ate the cookie, but the pen that was on it is Big Pinka Book, I has it. And then afterwards, um, my mom was telling me that there was going to be, um, some belly dancing going on as well as, um, that this author was going to be advertising her uh, Egyptian book that was going to be coming out soon. So uh, that was going to be happening in about an hour. So we moved from the area that we were sitting at, to, um, so we won't be in the way. And um, after uh, the hour was up, I went to where the area was, where the belly dancing was going to be going on. And because I was going to be watching the belly dancing, I actually got a free book, and its the book is by um, Melogen Book um, Brook. Um, which is the Iron Duke, and it's part of the RNC series. A couple of people there actually recommended me this one, and I was I was sold, especially by being steampunk and a hot smoking guy on it. So I was sold, and I'm definitely gonna check this one out. I cannot wait to get around reading that. And also, um, the author who's um, uh, that was there, which was advertising her Egyptian book, was giving out some swag. So this is the bag that was in, tied with this little jewel um, beads. Inside it was her um, business card and a bunch of trading um, cards that, were, um, that had all of her books on it. This is her new book that's coming out, which is Visions of Fire and Ice, that she was, this is the one that she was advertising for, 
And then these are her other books. Um, the first one being Lone Wolf. And then um, Dark Secession. Um, Tigers by Tell, which reminds me of Tiger's Curse book by Colin Hook, which I love that book. And um, Blood Moon Betrayed. And then She Wolf, which this is a cool cover as well. And then, um, let's see. After that, uh, so that's the spy that I picked up. And they also gave us these really cool, um, like sticker, like gem things that you can put, like, on, that you put on your forehead that. Um, me and my mom wore this one right here is the one I wore, and then this one right here is the one that my mom wore. And my mom, I asked her if she can belly dance with me after they showed some belly dancing that they did. Um, a couple of them stayed to show us how to dance, um, and my mom said no. So I did it. My I did it on my own, and it was so much fun. I wish my mom could have joined me, but she's like, mm -mm, not doing it. You can go ahead and do it yourself. So, <laughs> it was so much fun. Um, I've never belly danced before, so it was it was an unusual experience, so I'd, I'll have to say that. So, anyways, after that, I did get some, my mom did get some pictures, so, <laughs> of it, so. So, anyways, after that, me and my mom were, uh, went to the car to get my costume for the vampire ball that was going to be, um, that night on the first day, so. But... We got trapped in the car because it started raining, so we were um, stuck in there for a couple hours until it stopped. Um, so while we were stuck in there, me and my mom just rested for a little bit while we waited until it stopped. When it did, we went back inside and got ready for um, uh, for the um, for the vampire ball, and I dressed in a beautiful costume. So I was, I did get a picture. My mom did take a picture of it. And, um, this is the bag that I actually got at the, um, Vampire Ball, which looks like this, if you guys can read it. It says, Offers After Dark, Savannah, Georgia, 2013, Vampire Ball. And then on the back, it has all the people that were, um, all the adult, because it was mostly adults, all the adult, um, authors that, um, were at the uh, Vampire Ball, so, Yeah. Inside it was a special vampire um, ball book that was special only for the ones that um, intend the ball, so that's what I got inside the bag, as well as a copy of Hunted by Others, um, which I got signed the next day, um, on the uh, second day, which was the big uh, signing that they had, and it says, Tasha, hope you enjoy my book, Jess Hayes. And I'm so excited. I am so happy this is the first book in the series. So I'm looking forward to reading it. And I did pick up some swag when I met her the next day. A sampler for the, for, um, for the book, as well as a couple of business cards. So yeah, I got that. And then, um, also, and then on the table, I picked up some, uh, beads. They have skulls on them. It represents the books from Chris and Pandler. So I got some of these. Um, a red one and a silver one. I also got another silver one the second day that I met her. And also um, picked up some tattoos. I got more of them, but like I said, but like I said, when I met her the second time, I, uh, already, I put them in a different bag. So I picked up some of these and they look like this. You can see. And then I picked up some glow sticks that were on the table. And then, um, also on the table, they had this really cool, um, like, bag that had some really neat, like, dragon stuff, um, on it. So one of them had a bookmark, and then this is all the books in the back. Had a pencil, and the author's name is Branna D. Arch, so, and then also sticky pads and a nail fowler. Then, um, I picked, and then also on the table was a superpower love little cup coast thing. Then a, um, door hanger. It says fangs, wanted, and fairy dust. And then below it says read, please do not disturb unless you're the hero of my book. And then on this side it says out buying books in nice literature. Why don't you put a kilt and start talking in an accent? Just so cute couple of postcards. One of them is actually signed and has a recipe on it. And then this is the other one. Then I picked up some bookmarks. And then this one um, is from Palin Beck. 
This is from the Misto series. And then this one is from um, the uh, Blood Sisters. And then, I, and then this is another postcard that had this really cool, like, stream type um, bookmark, which is really cool. And then I picked up another bookmark, which is um, from Simpel uh, Publishing, um, advertising this book, and then a um, Simpel Publishing post, um, uh, post, uh, sticky notes, there we go, sticky notes, I'm going to blank there for a second, sticky notes. And then um, the last thing that I picked up um, that was on the table was this a postcard and had this beautiful, beautiful um, bookmark, um, one of those metal type um, bookmarks, which is really cool. So that's all I have to share with you guys in this first video. If you have any questions on anything at all about any of the books I share with you guys, um, just let me know in the comments below. And if you have any questions about the book event, just let me know in the comments below as well. All the information about the books that I shared with you guys will be in the description bar below, as well as the um, website link will be in the description bar below as well. So I'll see you guys um, later in part two, and I hope you guys enjoy. Happy reading, guys.